Lasso Coliseum ready to go here on a Friday night from Blacksburg into the center of the go. And we are underway with Liz Kitley winning that opening tip. Well, he's got off to a great start on both ends of the floor the other night. Here's Georgia Amor getting off to a good start of her own. Awusu drives in back and forth over the defender. Won't go. Rebound Kitley and the putbacks there. The drive of the shot right through pure. Shooting that time coming out of Collins. And now like we talked in the open, they're a national contender. Number 13 team of the country as Collins posts up, goes off the block, and gets two points inside. The easy call that time for Bobby Ray, Erica Herman, and Fato Stevens round out this crew. Taylor Soule gets on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. Just a touch better at 38%. Two defensive showing true as Liz Kitley with a seventh footer. It's a really nice misdirection play. Schaefer hasn't with the size difference, been able to post up kind of like she was on Monday. She's had to stay outside of the paint. Here's an outside shot. Good for Theodorsa. Kind of gang rebounded in there. For the free throw line. And it's a one-point ball game. Wow, led a lot of traffic. Collins that time. Bucknell trying to take their first lead of today's game, and they do with Collins. She's now got eight. Watch this. A little size advantage. Use her body to protect the basketball. First couple of points for Virginia Tech. The Hokies have not been able to score for the last five and a half minutes. Here's Amor, and she stops the drought. What drought? Ah. Seven points for Bucknell. Virginia Tech stopped the scoring drought. And Liz Kitley continues on those scoring ways to welcome in this second quarter now. Basket good. In 18 0 run of that 2013 game. Right now, Bucknell's already surpassed that with 13. And here's Kitley down to the baseline with a little rain. Schaefer gives it over to the corner. Driving into the paint now, hook shot of the way around the rim. Isabella King. Kitley double teamed. Now they'll find the open King. King with her first. Classic. Kitley doing some work down inside. Schaefer against Kitley. Off glass and through the hoop. We showed you that in the open. For the free throw line, Kalusha Kalush, off last shot won't go for Collins. He's been a little quiet last couple of minutes now. Drive on the other side. Trailer. All ACC performer in that tournament a season ago is Trailer. And just on the other end, quickly up and in. The dribble handoff stole it away. King with no one near extends the Virginia Tech lead. Down to the ground and losing the basketball that time is Bucknell. Here's Soul. Transition now. A lot of contact that time. Kentley gets the rebound, puts it back up and in. The rebound comes for Virginia Tech. A touch in front of the three point line. And Trailer's got some rain. It's a big possession for both teams right here. Here's a backdoor cut off glass. What a nice play. Beautiful pass from Collins to Kaletja. She was going to be right there. Kitley for the free throw line. Pure. Shot fake. Why not? Schaefer's kind of the, a facilitator. See, catching sure. that ball in a high post and usually making plays for somebody else, but this time she takes it all the way. Virginia Tech with a nine-point lead to the basketball. Trying to take advantage of this over two-minute scoring drought for Bucknell. Awusu hits her first triple of the ball game. Kayla King, 33 points a night ago. Just five points for it tonight. Game more shot won't go. Kentley with the rebound on the putback for the All-American. Ford watch list. I think that now her 35th career double-double here at Virginia Tech. And Collins get back to the scoring ways. Right of the free throw line. Finds her first point. This group 
Not too shabby. Three oh. of them. Yeah, three of them and on, on a, a star-studded team right there. And a really nice play by the freshman, Grace Sullivan. Back within 10, trying to get it to single digits for the first time since that first half. Trailer wide open. Drives in and gets two. Here's Theodorson from the free throw line. Gets the two-point basket. She's got herself up to now five. Out of four seconds, Kentley for the free throw line is right through. Theodorson, young freshman, drives inside with a right-handed layup. Gets the layup to roll. She's really been impressive, hasn't she? On Monday night in college basketball and doing so in Castle Coliseum on Friday night of this week. Kitley with a little range to her, a little seven-footer. Nothing but that. Amor, off glass, drives in. Tangled up a little bit. Amor, long range, won't go. Offensive rebound on the putback. Second chance points continue to build upon for Virginia Tech. Coming for Virginia Tech. King, right where she left off on Monday night. So again, contested everything that Collins does. Banked it in, right at the top for Theodorson, the freshman. Gets one to fall and gets her to double figure. Look like in January rather than November when they'll really know where to go in this offense. Kitley, pure right from it at that time. She missed a couple early on. This offense looks different without Schaefer in the game. She fouled out early on. She's typically had a touch just about every single possession. Got the eight seconds. Here's now Dunn. Gets her first points of today's game in the fourth quarter. Here's a three transition. Front of the rim, but it won't go. Bucknell with a wide open lane. Finishing it through that time of the Bison number four. Final five seconds. Virginia Tech's going to get 2-0. A couple of convincing home wins to start the season for Coach Kenny Brooks. A 67-41 victory.